Okay, today I wanted to talk about replacing the headliner in a 2005 town and country Chrysler minivan. So, very involved. Um, it was sagging over here. I will include some pictures. It was also sagging heavily in the back. So I decided to take the headliner out and replace it. So, I, once again, not so easy to do. So first of all, you have to take off these, then you take this off. Then you take all the clips off. This one just pulls out and disconnects. Take these out. Then we need to take off the seat belts here and here and also there's a bolt over there. And one over there and on both sides obviously. And then you need to pull all of these plastic trims this way. All of them. So two three, four, five, six. So they all need to come forward. So you also need to remove these clips as well. All right, then you can start pulling it down. All right, the air conditioning ducting for the rear goes up here. It's a friction fit, so it just pushes in together. And you also need to pull this apart to the, the ducting to get it out. It goes all the way down. And then you need to pull the whole thing out. Right, you also need to remove these clips right, to put it back on. All right, and this ducting needs to be removed. It's just a friction fit. It just fits up here and here. It's pretty hard to get back in. You need to align it properly. All right, and then you need to reinstall all the trim pieces. You need a star bit. I don't remember what size it is. Let's see. A T20 to remove some of the bolts in the front. These bolts here. All right, and then a regular Phillips head screwdriver to remove the bolts cut on the sides. All right, um, over here, there's also one screw that goes up in here. And then there's also a clip, which I'll show separately. Then you pull the whole thing out. All right. Um, so what you're left with are these. Now when you take these out, right, there's some clips on it. And you have to remove the clips. I will include a picture and make sure you have the left side and the right side. Because if not, you'll mix them up and you wouldn't be able to reinsert them. Now in here, I should also mention there is a screw here that um, connects to the roof. So you need to get this one out. right on all four of them before you can pull the headliner down so i sorry i omitted that right and then you need to take this off all right to take these off there's a screw behind the coat hook you have to take that off and then to get the rest of it off there's this Pry this up and it comes off Then you could peel all of this off with a flipped over and scrape it off with a scraper or a brush and then reapply the headliner. There's the ducting. These are the wires, this is the console in the middle. This is the visors with power. The other visor. This is all air ducting. Ducting from the back and across. This is the air conditioning console for the back seat. So all of this has to come off. 
I purchased the headliner for about, I think it was $70 or $80 on Amazon. And then I bought some headliner spray, 3M headliner spray, which is a bit hard to, um, to locate. And then I sprayed it on. And then you let it set for a day. And then you reassemble everything. And then you start reinstalling it. So basically it took me one morning to take the headliner down. Another morning to put the new material on. And then a third morning to reassemble, to reinstall it in the van. When you're installing this part of it, it's very difficult. There's actually a little frame above this that you need to be careful of. That needs to line up perfectly in order for you to be able to put everything back together. So when you're taking it down, it doesn't matter because it all just comes up, separate. But when you're putting it back up, it's very difficult to realign these screws to the frame. So the frame goes across here, right, and then attaches to the roof. And you need to be very careful reattaching. So this is what made the job so difficult. The two main difficulties was getting these out and pulling the headliner out. And then when putting it back in, the hardest part was to get these realigned. And then the screws for the visor to put it up in, in the um, roof to get it lined up properly. So I think this was one of the hardest part. This took about most of the reassembly time to put back in. And then of course you need to put the, put these back in, put the screws in, put the seat belts back on, the bolts for them. All right. And then over here, this was also difficult. You need to be able to screw these in properly. Once again, if you mix up the right and the left hand side, you're going to have a lot of problems with, you wouldn't be able to see this hole to realign it. I actually consider just forgetting about it, but um, I decided not to because it's essential to keep the headliner up. And then of course you need to put back all the trim pieces, the rubbers and everything, and then put it back. Now, some online research showed that this is about a $700 job, and I would agree with that because it was not an easy thing to do. Um, now I understand why some people just drive around, pull off the material, and you have all the, the foam behind this starts to fall down on them, you know, because it's such a hassle to take it out and redo it. Is it worth it? Probably, probably not. If you're keeping a vehicle a long time, yes. Now, this Chrysler is uh, from 2005, and it's 16 years old, so it's getting harder and harder to get parts for it. Um, so I think eventually I'm going, you know, you have to reach a point where you just can't get parts for it. How much money do you spend on it? Even if you had the money, you can't get parts for it. You might have to go to the junkyard, and even there, you're not sure what you're getting. So um, I'm trying to keep it running, um, trying to maintain it. I use it to haul stuff around, so, you know, it's not really, you know, for family outings. But, um, yeah, this is what the headliner job is about, and um, it's pretty intensive. So, you know, only do it if you're really sure you really want to do it, all right? Um, so, yeah, any questions, let me know. Thanks.